Scavenger hunts are a part of inquiry-based learning curriculum with having students engaged in problem-solving skills that teaches students to work collaboratively for a common goal. The Marzano strategies that are incorporated in a scavenger hunt are celebrating student success by providing them with clear learning goals, previewing content, which engages students in an activity that helps them link to what they already know, to the new content about, that is about to be addressed, and facilitates those linkages. Organizing students to interact is a thoughtful way that facilitates this collaboration. Now, the five E lessons of engage, explore, explain, elaborate, and evaluate are throughout this entire virtual training. However, not all lessons by themselves meet the criteria of a complete 5E model. This curriculum is designed to meet the entire 5E model as a whole. The curricular activities, the lessons, the labs, etc., they also all incorporate Marzano best practice strategies, which addresses the Alabama Course of Study Science Standards and the National Next Generation Science Standards. This scavenger hunt is an example of an engage, explore, and explain lesson, which focuses on student-centered instruction of learning classroom norms. I utilize scavenger hunts in my classroom for students to become acquainted with procedural information of my classroom organization and set up as well as lab safety rules and procedures. I will evaluate students with a series of bell ringers on my classroom norms, and I will evaluate my students obviously with the lab safety quiz that they're required to take. You will work through a series of questions that will guide you through the Unit 2 Atomic Structure and Periodicity Sample Unit of our entire curriculum that you'll be able to access at the end of our training. So pay careful attention to the sequence of the questions as they are taking you through the materials as if to be used in your classroom planning. These questions are for you to be engaged in the curriculum while you explore the resources and explain how they're utilized in your curriculum planning.